Welcome to Education Lifeline. This is Trishita Paul, and today we'll be introducing you to linear inequalities. Previously, we talked about simple and compound inequalities, and if you haven't watched our unit on simple and compound inequalities, a playlist will be linked in the description below, as well as on the top right-hand corner of your screen. Please check that playlist out before watching this video. So simple inequalities might look something like 2x is less than 10, or maybe something like negative 3h plus 1 is greater than 22. Now compound inequalities are when you combine two equations with and or, or. so it might look something like 4 is less than x plus 2 and x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 8, or it could look something like 4x minus 1 is less than 15, or 8x is greater than 48. Those will be compound inequalities. Now linear inequalities are when we have two different variables, and these can be graphed on a coordinate plane. So a linear quantity might be something like y is greater than or equal to 2x minus 3. Or it could be something like x plus 2 or x plus y is less than 4. There are two variables and we can graph these on the coordinate plane. If this video was helpful, please drop a like and subscribe to Education Lifeline. Be sure to watch our previous videos and check the description below for other helpful resources. Thanks for watching.